Hey guys, Brian here from Solid Woodworks. So I just wanted to show you my recent build. I just finished, it's this big Dodge Ram truck a customer brought to me. Got a nice big front end bar up there, bowl bar, lift kit, big mud, uh, mud grapplers on there. And he has a big old Lear shell, as you can see, with the roof racks and everything. So what he wanted to do is have me do some work in the back. So I'll show you what I did explain all the little pieces of it and whatnot in the next couple minutes here so first off he wanted something that had two bench seats so he wants to use his truck for when he goes camping with his friends out to um idaho he likes to go out there fishing and camping so he wants something where he can throw all his gear in here and then if really the weather gets bad he can jump in here with his buddies have a couple of beers hang out you know while it's raining or whatever and possibly turn it into a sleeping area if he's ever out camping by himself or um you know a partner so I'm going to jump in here real quick and I'll show you how this all works. All right, first off, I wanted to create as much storage as possible. As you can see, the benches are pretty short and, you know, I just wanted to create enough space for some headroom. He's a little bit taller than me. I'm only 5'8", so um, there's another couple inches up here for taller people. But the benches need to be small because of the width he wanted to fit his ice chest in here. He wanted a, a 36 inch width here, um, but I made all these little spots accessible, as you can see. Nice cup holders on both sides, another nice compartment. All these things for uh, stuff that he's just going to not have to use all the time. Um, areas in the back of the vehicle where you can put, you know, straps and tools and stuff. So in here, as you can see, I've got a fuse block and that goes to all the wiring, wiring which I'll show you in a second. A couple extra fuses in there for him. Um, First things first for the wiring up here. He wanted in the front of the cab a uh, nice cigarette lighter Or a 12 volt plug and two USBs for his phone and different things He wants to possibly plug in while he's in here sleeping So also something I did in here as you'll be able to see is for his fishing poles and stuff I actually made it so that when he puts his rods in here I made this one without a divider like I did on the other side and on this side, I cut a little slot out so the poles can go into this compartment as well um, for shorter poles and or ones and tubes and stuff. I thought that was kind of an easy little touch. Back here, two more um, cup holders as well. Coming to the very back of the truck, you can see that there is three more plugs here. So you got two 12 volts and a voltmeter, which has a built-in WSB in it. I like that so they can see um, what his volt is um or sorry what is battery sitting at the battery is actually a dual battery up in the front because it's a big diesel truck and needs those two batteries to start and in this one all this stuff is hooked to the auxiliary battery which is what he wanted just so that he can um drive it charge it and just use it for certain little things when he stopped for a couple hours you know at a fishing spot um we installed two led four foot light strips up there as you can see and those are on a switch this is just here on see those things turn on and then I put a dimmer there as well so you can get them bright and dim them down for if it's at night. So it's a pretty cool little setup, this dimmer. I really like that control there. Um, all the little things you see in this build, electrical wise and stuff, I'll have links in the, my bio, uh, the video description below if you wanna go tech, check those out. I get a lot of my stuff on Amazon because I have a lot of good reviews and it gets here pretty quick. Um, so the last piece of this puzzle I wanted to show you is this bed setup that he has um requested you want it to be kind of a three or four purpose setup so the bed sits in here the bed platform sits in here and also it clips up there to create a big table in there and then also clips the back of the tailgate so let me show you how that works in a second here all right so the bed platform i'm about to show you it's just right here it's a nice big piece of oak i got clear coated so this piece can, number one purpose, obviously, slide right in here for a bed platform. There you go. Yes, it is big and kind of awkward, but it's just how this build was. It's just how everything was able to be worked. So you can see that creates that space there so that he has a nice large six foot long, about five foot wide sleeping platform. Um, nice big strong piece of oak. And he has storage for all of his other gear, fishing poles and stuff underneath. So the second purpose for this thing is once you slide it out right here, I like to use a little tailgate right here as leverage. You drop it below like this. It slides right in the middle here. Now 
he can put all of his gear and stuff in here his big yeti all of his boxes and stuff i put like a little you know piece of carpet so that table doesn't get scratched now let me show you the third way that this thing works i'll slide it out and bring it out here so what we have here is a monopod for a camera i'm gonna unscrew this a couple times all the way out tighten those up screw this one all the way out as well tighten it up so the way this is going to work is it screws in to a little false nut down here that i installed you can see that screws right in there like that get in there now when you slide the table out it'll just drop there we go drop right into the slot that I installed on his tailgate. There's a little bit of C-channel, and I installed some C-channel on the back of the table as well. So that makes this big old bar top thing that he wanted for his buddies, so if they're getting their fishing rods ready, um, you know, beers, having like a little cookout or something. Uh, it's obviously not gonna be mm, something that you can put a lot of weight on, uh, because it's just obviously one monopod, um, but it, you know, it is nonetheless a massive table that you can have outside the back of your truck. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I've never done something like this and it definitely took me a little bit while to figure that out, but I think we got it. And I'll show you the fourth way you can use this table set up in a second here. The fourth way that this bed table support system can be used is on the back here of the truck, camper shell. You can see the company has installed this window back here. And by the window is this little perfect little C channel that I was also able to get the uh, aluminum on the back of the table to fit into. So we come back this way, we'll use the exact same tripod, or you know, monopod leg, I should say, for the section up the front here. As I said, this is a, it was a work in progress to figure this all out. So there's probably a couple other ways you could possibly do this, but I couldn't find one that was did everything that you wanted to do at once. So same thing, well, it's nice, easily screw this in there go bring this down a little bit just the height of it and right about there looks pretty good tighten them all down boom so now you've got a massive table in here you can hang out play some cards have a little beer same thing it's not massively sturdy but you could definitely have three or four guys in here um, and have somewhere to hang out if the weather gets really bad so that is the four ways that this thing was able to be used. And as I said, it took me a couple uh, days to sort this all out and get it all to work perfectly. But I think it's a pretty rad setup and I think he's gonna be really happy with it. He'll be here in a couple hours to pick it up. And it's definitely something new and different. I haven't done this build like this before. Obviously I've done other truck builds, but um, this one is something new. And it's fun, fun to get some challenges like that. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, as I said as well in the description is a link to some of the products that I've used in here and um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time